Okay, Shalom. Shalom. Like give all praise on and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Bashem Rakakadash. Okay, double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, our elders of GMS. And salutations and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect of the children of Israel, people of Negro, Latino, Native American, and Seminole Indian descent, Israelite foreigners as well that's been scattered amongst the heathen nations around the four corners of the earth, but are Israelites through their father's side. All right, and uh, you walk with us. That's humbling yourself, all right, to escape the impending doom that's come, that's about to soon come upon this place by humbling yourself and learning the word of you, the Lord. Um, This is something. Um, U.S. police have been training with the Israeli military for brutal, brutal crackdown on free speech in Babylon. Ain't this something else? Ain't this something else? And you know what? With this news going out, it's still not going to stop the truth. You know, it's literally impossible for these devils to stop the truth. You know, it's already out. You know, and another thing, there's nothing these foul devils can do that's going to stop prophecies from taking place. Not a damn thing. But really, you know, like some Jake said, looking at this and read things like this and get scared fall right back into the world and hide and, and hide and hide amongst the uh the ungodly <laughs> those that are lack, lack of faith and those that lost patience this is the things like this that scares the shit out of them you know and so what does it say here if you thought the United States was a sovereign nation in charge of its own affairs, think again. In many ways, America is just a military arm of, of those rats where free speech. And no, no, well, hold up. America is just a military arm of Amalek where free speech is increasingly under assault by law enforcement, which for years have been training with Israeli defense, um, Amalek defense forces to oppress we the people we the people <laughs> it's, 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 it's a lot like we the people have the true wisdom knowledge and understanding we the people it cracks me up oppress we the people whenever we make our voices heard on things like Amalek's genocide in Gaza and war, on, war in general let me get a quick scripture Fear none of those things. Okay. Revelation 2 10. I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are us and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. And again, let me read it again. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. You know? And let me say, um, and I've had it multiple times. And honestly, I don't know how many times. I've had it so many times that it was, they were all similar as well, but they were different, but similar being locked up. And, um, and I'm, I'll make this long short short, but um, being locked up and uh, for whatever reason, and then I find myself um, behind bars. And um, but eventually, somehow those bars just open, and uh, and, and 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 really it it it, um, it reminds me of the scripture. And, and I'm trying to think of uh, the uh, the apostles who it was um, that were locked up and um, and they just walked out of jail. They just walked out of the prisons and they were going to actually kill the guard or um, not kill it. Was it kill the guard or uh, 
And I'm not sure the, the, the story. I should, I should go back and read it. But um, now the apostles, they found themselves locked up in, in you know, under Roman captivity. But they, find, they found themselves walking out, you know, chains look, uh, loosed off of them and, and all and found themselves in another city. The same thing with me as well in my in my visions, my dreams that found myself being behind closed bars and all of a sudden the, the doors were opened and I find myself walking out. And that was in all the dreams that I've had been locked up. Eventually those bars were being locked out and, and a whole a host of um, other inmates, just we just walked out, you know? Many of, I've had many of those dreams and like I said, they were all similar, but different, you know, different uh, types of jail cells like that with different individuals, they're all different, you know, and, and uh, de dealing with the real world as well. My personal experience has been here in Babylon in this life, and especially I got locked up actually um, um, out teaching, um, defending a brother. I got locked up. But I found myself walking out of jail the very next day, not charged with none of anything that happened pertaining to that day, you know. So again, you know, just don't fear any of this madness, man. You know, because you know there's a true living power that's behind us that's gonna that's looking over us. You know, really, it's a it's a, you know, it's a display of your faith. Having faith that he's, I mean, he's always looked out for us, you know, since he's, he's always looked out for us ever since we've been out there on the highways and those byways, you know, so it's a foolish thought. It's a foolish thought to even think for a second that he's going to abandon us then, especially in the times, in these evil as times like the scripture is for the days are evil. These days are evil. He's not going to leave us out there. Uh, and he's not going to abandon us. You know, you just got to have that faith. You know, that you just got to believe that. He's not going to abandon us. All right, let me let me do this real quick. I just want to see this out of curiosity. curiosity out of, um, what in the NLT, NLT said, Revelation spot 2 and 2 and 10. Be, don't be afraid of what you are about to suffer. The devil will throw some of you into prison to test you. And there's going to be those that the, the brothers, the so-called brothers, that's going to actually fold. That's going to literally fold, man, and talk. <laughs> you know? And talk. Whatever talk they want to talk, they're going to talk. <laughs> you know? it's the, he's the devil's wrath. The devil will throw some of you into prison to test you. You will you will suffer for 10 days but if you remain faithful even when facing death i will give you the crown of life that's the ultimate goal that's our ultimate goal is that crown of life it says anyone with ears to hear must listen to the spirit and understand what he is saying to the churches whosoever is victorious will not be harmed by the second death Ooh. Beautiful man, oh man, man. So let me get back to that. Um, let's just breeze through some of this here. Man, these devils hate this truth, man. That's the ultimate thing. It's just the truth. It's not these people out there uh, rising up against uh, what's going on over in Gaza. It's all about the prophets, man. It's the ultimate goal is to stop the prophets. If you thought the United States, I read that. Chris, adequate citation in the middle of the tweeting the screenshots showing how the Anti-Defamation League ADL has been working on working in cahoots with U.S. police forces to embed its Amalek's military-style oppression tactics within police departments. So they've been training. It doesn't, it doesn't mention how long, though, this has been going on. And I can imagine it's been going on for a while. An illustration of the U.S. police transformation from public servants to fascist oppressor, oppressor, 
check out this career video to begin to change the image of the Lego police officer over time. What the what? This Israeli is Amalek behind police abuse of minorities. Amalek behind police abuse of minorities. The first article feature in the bus goes from Rat's Voice for Peace is a real eye opener explaining how Amalek has been military, military, militarizing U.S. police for many years. So it's just, it's to no surprise to me, it's been going on for many years. You know, you know, we've always known Amalek has always been behind um, the just judicial system somewhere. And I always question who are who are these people that be indicting you? <laughs> you know. You get an indictment. You've been indicted. By who? It's Amalek behind the, those closed doors. Behind the behind the, the the curtain. You know. That's you know, that's controlling these prosecutors and these judges. Just the whole system period. The first all features in the above screenshot from Rats Voice for Peace is a real eye opener explaining how Amalek has been militarizing all U.S. police for many years. After only after the George Floyd incident did the did the Amalek U.S. police partnership hit the pause button. After it was revealed via leaked documents and whistleblower testimony that Israel is in fact responsible for militarization of U.S. police and all the oppression that comes with it. Human knowledge is under attack. Government and power corporations are using censorship to wipe out humanity. Knowledge based about anyway. As explained by Jewish Voice for Peace, senior ADL staff sent a draft memo entitled Law Enforcement Training in, in the Land to CEO Jonathan Greenblatt at the height of the Floyd saga in June 2020, fully explaining how. Amalek's impact on U.S. police have created a hostile relationship between police officers and the citizens across the country. The document details how the ADL, one of the main facilitators of police exchanges between the U.S. And, and Amalek, was forced to acknowledge that its exchange program helped militarize U.S. police and harm communities of color. Jayish Voice for Peace reported. The leaked memo also revealed that the ADL decided to disrupt their police exchange program in large part due to sustained campaigning by the nationwide daily exchange campaign and Ish Voice for Peace, JVP, along with its coalition partners across the U.S. sees this as a key vital step towards stopping the militarization of our communities. It's going to happen anyway. The funding and abolishing policies and challenging the U.S. Israel alliance that maintains Amalek's apartheid. Amalek trained U.S. police officers to use excessive force. We've seen it long ago. You know, blacks and others who say their communities are heavily abused by the police. And this ain't no joke. This ain't no mystery. You know, it's all, it's, it, the world knows this. You know, it's only these um these redneck ass uh, uh, Edomites here in the, in Babylon that turn a blind eye to it. You know, it says abused by police officers deserve to know that Amalek is behind it all. And you know, and at the same time, these two thirties niggas man are bringing it upon themselves anyway. You know, they make it easier for these devils to make, you know, to, you know, to turn up the heat. Having trained many U.S. police officers in the ways of using excessive force. And that's why I have this up here. This, this is Hosea. Hosea 4. And why hear ye the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Because there is no truth, nor mercy, 
nor knowledge of the Most High in the land. There's none of that, no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of the Most High in the land. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out and blood touches blood. Therefore shall the land mourn, and every one that dwelleth therein shall languish. The beasts of the fields and the fowls of heaven, yea, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. Mm. So this is just help. This is just helping bringing in that um, that famine. You know, there's no truth, no mercy. Whenever you're out crying for uh, crying uh, you know, to the, to our true power about oppression. And, and unrighteousness and they want to shut that down that's there's no no there's that's no mercy that's literally having uh no mercy man and these devils always have no mercy devil is always like the scriptures have uh, with a continual stroke let me see if I can find that a continual
Oh, fuck it. I didn't mean to take that one. I was trying to stop these Texans from coming. I was trying to text some food. Tell them to stop texting me. I ended up texting something else. Um, I should just pause it. But anyway, there's this devil here. He, I say the 14th chapter. All right. He he who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke. He that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and not hindered. With that, that's a continual stroke. It's continuing on to the end till the Lord stops this madness, man. So why are you, anyone's would be surprised if this is even taking place? You know, it's only gonna get worse. This is gonna this is gonna get worse. This devil's about to turn up the turn the volume up. You know? Actually it's Yahweh that's giving this devil the 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 power to turn up the to turn the heat up on on Jake, man. And really, you know, Yahweh wants to destroy, he wants to take these devils down, period. So he's gonna let them loose. On his elect, and once he turned him loose on his elect, man, that's when he he's gonna turn your howl shy against, uh, turn him loose on on these devils. And you gotta understand the whole story. You gotta understand what's actually what's literally taking place here. The Guardian Jewish Currents, which also reported in the memo of Green, and, and that's another thing with your faith, man, to know that it's actually your howl that's. Allowing this devil, that's causing this devil to do exactly that. Because his ultimate goal is to have us go out and and, and shine like he wants us to go out like gods, man. He wants us to shine. You know, again, and like I mentioned earlier, you just gotta have faith, in, you know, that and and believe just that very fact. It says he was sent to his and to Amalek and. 2017 for an ADL training session. In short, the sheriff left the training at its conclusion by saying that we'd be in jail if we did something like that here. In other words, Israel, Amalek is a fascist state whose government wants the United States and in a Babylon that has no problem with that. What's about to take place, you know? They haven't had a problem with it. And the only reason, the only, the only thing is that uh, these uh, lepers, devils, man, you know, they're not going to, you know, they're, they're, they're not going to uh, attack their own people, their own families and shit like that. Whose government wants the United States to be, to also be a fascist state and, is, and Amalek is transforming. Babylon into a police state by basically infiltrating police departments across the country and turning law enforcement officers into military troops rather than public servants whose job it is to keep the peace. Thanks to Amalek, gone, gone are the days of Andy Griffin, <laughs> Andy Griffin, and Barney Fife, and other such depictions of normally dressed civil police officers who are friends and neighbors, just like every other. Now, police officers are armed to the teeth, dressed in garb that belongs on a battlefield, not on civilian streets. For now, the ADL indoctrination campaign against U.S. police remains paused due to concerns about public perception of the aftermath of Floyd. Perhaps that tragic incident will lead to the type of change that restores U.S. police, U.S. law enforcement back to what it once was rather than what it has become, it still is to become, what? It's never been good for uh, for Israelites. It's never been good for Israelites. People of Negro, Latino, Native American, Seminole Indian descent. It's never been good. But for the heathens and all those heathen nations, look at, uh, look at, look at, look at, look at, uh, um, um, those Somalians and well, any of those Hamites and Canaanites that's coming over here or the, he, the heathen period, uh, Moab and uh, and Ammon, and you know the Japanese and Chinese and East Indians. You don't see any dope. You don't see uh, uh, Babylon uh, law enforcement um, uh, harassing any of them, any of them. And if they do, 
the, they're, they're Israelite foreigners. It's, the, it's a spiritual thing. <laughs> it's a spiritual thing. That's something else. Let me back to what it once was. <laughs> That's funny. That's actually a joke that they even mentioned that. And that shows you that we're this 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 is two of Americas. This is literally two Babylons. You know, one that served that these 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 um you know these Americans, man, they can't they can't relate to what the curses they but they will and they're going to, but they can't relate to what the Israelites are going through as far as these curses is concerned. They can never understand that. You know? And it was a song that, and it was Ice T song that he mentioned in one of his songs that, um, how uh, they understand through. Uh, I wish I could play the song, but um, through um, an audio uh, audio drive by. That's where they get their understanding from. He mentioned his song, "Audio Drive By." <laughs> you know, they can't understand. They can't never relate to what we, what we're experiencing, but they will. He says, explore the kid's connection of road someone else. One nation under blackmail is the title. There is an audio edition as well. U.S. police have been training with the IDF for at least 10 years. Added another to the conversation. Some Americans care more about Amalek than American college students. Said another in absolute disgust, absolutely bunkers, the power of propaganda. How much longer do you think Zionists will, play, will rule the day? You know, but again, ultimately, it's it's this it's it's this is a, uh, it's going to help bring in ultimately that um, a famine of the word. You know, these people are enemies to, uh, of the prophets. These people are enemies of Yahweh, Bush and Yahweh Shai. Okay, so Psalms here, Book of Psalms here. Um, this is seventy-three. I have it somewhere. 73 okay 73 and 8 Psalm 73 and 8 okay so 73 they are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. Oh, it's a new America. If you only, if you, if you, if you only cooperate, <laughs> don't they comply? If you only cooperate. They speak loftily, proudly, proudly. These some proud devils, man. They set their mouth against the heavens and their tongue walketh through the earth. They set their mouth against the heavens. They scoff and speak only evil. In their pride, they seek to crush others. They boast against the very heavens and their words strut throughout the earth. So these people are against righteousness and uprightness and the truth, period. So again, we're not surprised. This, again, this is supposed to take place. This is part of these last days. This is part of the curses. This is, you know, this is part of the judgment. These things are going to take place. So, be circumspect. Stay in your lane. Stay in the spirit. Continue to pray. You know, Shalom.